Hi there, Frank here for premium members for the trading day of July the 17th, 2024, a Wednesday. All right, so let's review the situation here. So everybody knows we are at the top all time highs, ES and NQ. If you're long, trail it one day behind. And the, of course, the biggest moves recently, dramatic moves, YM and RTY. Nothing that we didn't project or forecast, so hopefully you took advantage of this. These giant moves and the RTY especially is astounding. All right, so let's see what's ahead, okay? Let's look at currencies on which we have long setups. Look at this. This is textbook. It's in our book. That, that's what I mean. Pressure into resistance, expecting a breakout on the daily chart. The four hour is beautifully cooperating. Look at the whole story, please. Failure test, one pullback, two pullbacks, second, third pullback. Well, third or fourth, whichever way you count it. But I think this pullback still has a good chance of being successful for a one R and the weekly and the daily nicely cooperating everything is nicely aligned for a long trade here of the daily chart something like this i don't want to put this on yet because we might get another red candle on the daily that would not change my plans but if you want to play the four hour chart then i think it's time to go long here look at that so then the trade is ready the trigger is there no reason not to be long on the four hour chart for a one hour trade. Okay, also long setups on 6A. There's a little sell off here, but I think what's happening is just that the daily is taking over. So the daily bull flag is being built, and that's what is worth trading at this time. Also, 6B, long setups everywhere. The next one is coming up. The 6B is very similar to what we saw on the 6C. It all started with a failure test. And a couple of pullbacks and the next pullback is getting ready on the four hour chart look at the beautiful target area on the weekly so we're getting to the point after so many years now that there's nothing really whatever i say i do remember i've said this 500 times before so hopefully whoever is listening to this these skills and what to do and what is going on should be in our dna already so it's the same thing every day, and that's the good part about trading. On the CL, I'm a little bit bullish on the daily. There's no action item yet, but I'm monitoring this market. Remember about a week ago, I started watching the weekly chart, and if this beautiful complex bull flag wakes up on the daily, then 84 will be my target area, and perhaps this, is, this will be a situation, remember this please, when the previous pivot, we talked about this, this is very important information for us, the previous pivot will be within our 1R. So depending on your rules, either take the trade off at this point and be content with 0.6 or 7R, whatever, or keep a runner, tighten stop. So this is a important, crucial lesson here and guideline for how we trade again when the previous pivot is within the one r you have to make sure that you don't turn a winner into a loser okay let's move on to precious metals fantastic things happening on precious metals everybody knows but we knew it a week ago remember failure test and range bound market heading towards the upper end of the range. This is, again, I've, we've been through this about a thousand times in the past five years. SI, what can I say? My plan has not changed in the past week or so. This, for me, this is just sideways consolidation. This is just pressure growing. And remember what happened on the RTY and many other markets. We should already be long on the SI. Of course, MBT. Now, let's just remember to mention Bitcoin because Bitcoin sold off a little bit. But the plan, again, I said this a few times. So the plan, I don't think there was reason to change the plan to be long. Here we go. Bitcoin now gave us an up gap and 
indication exists here on our charts that is heading at least to 76 previous pivot, perhaps 72, who knows, and perhaps much more. Yes, treasuries. We started with the ZF, so let me start with the ZF, horizontal consolidation. Remember the bottom tail? This is how we started, pullback, bottom tail, just to run the stops. They're not going to fool us anymore with these bottom tails, I hope. Bottom tail, horizontal consolidation, 1R. I'm not making this up. It's on the chart, 1R, and then further upside expected. Now, it's a little bit more difficult because we're just... We're just melting up, you see, melting up. If you want to go long, well, do go long, but put your stop somewhere here, okay? But this is not an ideal pullback because there's no real pullback. We're just uh, evaporating to the upside. ZB, however, I think there's, yes, of course, long in progress already, zero point something, maybe zero seven R, and pressing into resistance, expecting it to break, Similar situation to the 6E. So this should be it for tonight. And as you can see, there's another good setup here on 6S. So there's many setups. Pick the one you like and let's do the work. We'll be back in the morning and until then, mindful trading.